Hey, hey, Will Park here with NVIDIA, taking a look at Android 3.1 Honeycomb. We're going to call it Honeycomb 3.1 just because Android 3.1 Honeycomb is just a little much to say every time. So this is Honeycomb 3.1 or HC 3.1. We're going to, so this is the first update to the Android 3.0 Honeycomb platform, which is, of course, Android OS customized for tablets like this. And what's cool is Android, uh, Android is a Google product, right? So Google's got your back. They're always pushing out changes. They're always updating their stuff. They're always looking to make their user experience better. They're looking to um, make everything faster and more intuitive. And HC 3.1, Honeycomb 3.1 is an example of that. So what makes it so great? Well, first off, for starters, the first thing you'll notice is what I've been doing as I've been kind of introducing this video here is scrolling through the the UI and swiping through the UI and what you should notice is everything is way more responsive than it was before. Well, I shouldn't say way more responsive. 3.0 was pretty good, but 3.1 just takes it to another level. You see everything is super fluid and you have no lag. As soon as I hit that apps button, I'm going to the apps. As soon as I swipe, it swipes. As soon as, you know, even if you're in mid swipe and you hit the app, it'll respond like that. Um, there's no lag in the UI, and of course, so that's one of the improvements, right? You got a more a snappier a snappier UI. If I can hit the right spot on the on the on the screen, at least, the you've got you've got your smoother UI and basically just uh, more more responsive touch inputs. And of course, multitasking it has been greatly expanded. Before your multitasking, of course. You re, uh, triggered by this little icon down in the corner here. You hit that and it brings up all the list of all the apps you have open. And this can now hold 18 apps in total, right? I don't even have 18 apps open total right now. But I could switch between all of them because they're all, they're all running in the background. And you notice how snappy all this is. As soon as I hit it, you know, look at this UI. It's really smooth, really, really fast and fluid. And I, as even as I'm scrolling, I can hit the multitask button and I can get to a multitask and I can scroll through these emails real fast, right? And then even as I do that, I'm going to go to YouTube and everything just pops up real fast, real smooth. Okay, so let's take a look at what else comes with Android 3.1. So another cool thing is actually widgets, right? Well, we've had widgets before, so what's new? Well, look. We've been able to do this before. We've been able to scroll through. This is the YouTube widget. You can scroll through these uh, well, what's popular videos. You can scroll through your bookmarks, right? That's nothing new. We've seen this before. But what is new is if I hold on to this widget and let's say I place him right here and let go, notice what just popped up. These drag bars kind of pop up around the sides. We've never had that before. And what these allow you to do is drag and resize your widgets just like that. So your widgets are now resizable, which means you can take your small little Gmail widget over here and he, this one actually has, whoops, I missed that. This one actually has horizontal and vertical drag bars. So you can actually resize these widgets to take up as much space or as little space as you need according to how much space you have on your home screen pane. That's a really cool feature. Now, we can also go into YouTube. Another feature that we are gonna notice in Honeycomb 3.1 is the ability to actually stream. Oh, it's buffering right there. So, so it's all nice and buffered now, and check that. So what's going on is I'm gonna play this guy, and notice what we have now is we have this little HD button in the corner. We can, all, we can go into full screen mode and you can see, notice the pixelation here, a lot of noise going on, and I'm gonna just pause it real quick. Notice the noise and the pixelation right there. I'm gonna hit this little tag right here, go into HD mode. We're gonna let it buffer. Okay, so it's buffered now. Now we're in HD mode. Notice that the picture gets bigger because we're in the 720p HD mode right now. And we're going to play that. And everything is a little smoother. Playback is smoother. You've got less pixelation, less noise. Uh, you have more definition. Notice the, the thunderbolt right, or the lightning bolt right there. You have the points of light there. Well, a little more defined. So that, that's HD playback. And that's new for Honeycomb 3.1. And of course you get better graphics performance. With Honeycomb 3.1 you get actually a 30% boost in graphics performance. And what does that mean? Well, not only does uh, the UI work faster, but 3D uh, games like 3D graphics are actually smoother, more well-defined, higher, higher frame rates, all that good stuff. So this is QWERTY. This is a 3D game and it's, it's a super uh, 3D intense game. And you can see the frame rates are really high. I don't know if it's going to come out in this video, but... You can see that there, there's no lag anywhere. Just and oops, I don't really know how to play. But that's a quick little demo to show you how how uh, how how fat how much faster the 3D graphics on Honeycomb 3.1 is. So that's a 
And lastly, what I want to show you guys is uh, hardware acceleration on Adobe Flash. So with Honeycomb 3.1, uh, Flash Player 10.3 is available. So that means you get faster, a more uh, desktop-like Flash experience. And for example, I have Vimeo loaded up here. Oops, the video kind of just... Uh disappeared on me for a second, but this is a flash video, and what it is is with the new flash player, it's hardware accelerated, which means you get better video performance, faster frame rates, and no lag. Notice that the scrolling that I'm doing on the webpage is real smooth. That's because the, the video element is actually loaded as part of the page, so it doesn't uh, lag when you scroll. It's actually moving with the web page. And here's full screen. And notice that everything is really smooth. The frame rates are really smooth. The resolution, obviously, is really good. It's at 720p. And real responsive to the controls, I just tap for that, I can pause, I can play, and I can... Oops, I turned off HD, but I want you guys to show, I want to show you guys what that looks like. A little bit more pixelated, obviously. So anyway, that's a quick little look at Honeycomb 3.1 with hardware accelerated flash, and of course, the faster UI and better 3D graphics performance obviously possible because this is Google's Android platform, which is always changing. That is Honeycomb 3.1.